Ever since its explosive birth, the universe has been expanding. Growing ceaselessly into an infinite unknown. However, on this day in the distant future, looking up at the sky, galaxies from all directions have reversed course and are speeding towards our own Milky Way. The catastrophic implication is fatal. The universe is collapsing, and everything we know will cease to be. Life is doomed. When we look at other galaxies, we'll see them coming in toward us on a collision course. All of a sudden we see stars coming at us from all directions. All the galaxies will start colliding and the stars within them will get crunched together. The stars will collide, the planets will collide, planets will get swallowed by stars. All of a sudden temperatures begin to rise. All of a sudden the oceans boil. All of a sudden the mountains will melt. Oh man, it's gonna be chaos, it's gonna be pandemonium and the universe itself begins to reach blistering temperatures, all intelligent life must die because we'll all be incinerated. The universe ends with a bang in a cosmic fireball. This is the vision of the apocalypse according to a theory known as the Big Crunch. What's happening with the Big Crunch scenario is that all of the matter in the universe and all of the energy, the galaxies, the stars in them, are all moving back towards each other and the universe is shrinking. Things are getting closer and closer together. Our universe right now, on the other hand, is expanding. Each day, there is more and more space as galaxies get further and further apart. The opposite happens during a big crunch. The space between things is shrinking. And that's rather like filling up this hallway with people. And there are more and more people. The space between them then is getting smaller and smaller. They bump into each other. They're trying to dodge out of each other's way. And so everything is heating up and getting more and more energetic as more and more things happen in the small space. Exactly the same thing would happen in the big crunch scenario, where various particles that make everything up are bumping into each other more, um, more frequently. The galaxies and the stars, so they're getting closer to each other to start distorting each other. And so the whole thing's beginning to heat up, just like a crowded room would heat up. The process continues with the temperature of the universe getting higher and higher to the point that the atoms themselves begin to fall apart. Finally, our vast universe collapses into a microscopic point. We'll end up with this soup of matter which is made of fundamental particles which are milling around at high energy, high temperature. Life as we know it has no escape.